what steps would you advocate for improving transparency of county government? There are lots of ways to improve the transparency. My think It's not on. Um, I think just making sure that the public is clear that everything we do, they have access to. And I think it goes a long way rather than having meetings always during the day is making them available in the evening so people can participate, um, educating people how to get records, and maybe even having those available online if they're public records, being able to immediately access them. Um, as far as, I think it's just an attitude and making sure that everybody understands that they own the government, we represent them, and get them involved as much as possible. Um, I mean, I don't know how else to answer that other than it's really easy if you do it the right way to just be absolutely open and honest with everything you do, making sure things are advertised and that people are aware of what's going on with changes, code adoptions, so that they know how it's going to affect them, giving them plenty of time to comment on, on all legislative measures. Frank? Boy, this is a topic I like. It's not just enough to complain about an issue. You have to have the solutions. Yet we have to educate staff and the supervisors and council on how to facilitate county government rather than having it just, you know, basically the fairness policies and protocols to do away with collusion in the government. And I say that from <coughs> what I told you earlier about the emails and the, and the other. Well, there's also the example of the Friends, the San Juans, were at the table during the CAO process and Camper was not. There was the issue of employee whistleblowers and what happens there. They get ostracized and then the supervisor gets moved up. And if you think that this isn't a, really a bad problem, the number two question from the union to the candidates was, supervisors have ordered employees to perform tasks in violation of conflict of written county policy or state regulations. Failure to obey a supervisor's direct order may lead to discipline or discharge. And then they want to know what we would do about that. And I ran into this with community treasures. I sat and saw all these other organizations asking the county for something, getting waivers, doing all kinds of things. But because I happen to be a property rights advocate, when I represented community treasures, which has given hundreds of thousands of dollars back to the community, we wouldn't even get an answer from the county. So one of the fairness policies would be an up or down comment from <coughs> county or staff regarding issues of importance or concerns. It's not unreasonable to have fairness policies and equality. Well, I'm not sure that everybody really wants transparency. It's kind of like the, the old song about making sausage. You don't want to know how laws are made, you don't want to know how sausage is made. <laughs> but that, that, that's just a, a joke. The first thing is that you have to be involved at every stage of the process. You've got to be coming into the offices at the county council, You've got to demand meetings with your councilmen here on this island, bring them here, have them talk to you, have, you, have them tell you what they are doing and what they are thinking about every damn thing they're doing. And if that is public, and also have them, have them write things down. There are many items that come up in the county council, just like came up in the legislature, where I would go in and I'd say, 
tell me what you want on this regulation for insurance, or tell me, you know, and get them to actually write it down so that they can clarify their thoughts and also be open to criticism from you. And also, I think, obviously, all meetings should be televised and, and people should be coming to all meetings and people should be able to, to be involved at every stage of the process. You shouldn't just have five minutes at the beginning of a meeting where everybody can stand up and bitch mm -hmm. and then the rest of the meeting goes on for hours and hours and nobody gets to say anything until it, not even when it's over. And I just think you have to have more public involvement at every stage. You have to have people coming up and testifying on all of these pieces of law that they're doing. And, uh, you know, the more that people demand, the more you will, you will see how it works. And you'll get better results. Thank you. Transparency. We, we're constantly striving to be transparent as, as possible. We've gone to a new web page. We put in our new uh, questions and answers when it comes to public records. I know that some people in this room have used the public records. It has totally improved over what we had done in the past. Uh, we do televise all of our meetings. It is very difficult when the uh, council went from a six-member council back to a three-member council. Two council members can't be together and discuss anything that does with the county business unless it's in an open public meeting. So I've always followed that rule and uh, being transparent, uh, I believe that I am a wide open, I'm a wide open book and I believe that the county is that way. We've uh, corrected some problems in the past. We have new personnel and positions. We have also added a proviso to the budgets if you know public records aren't responded to in a quick enough time, we will cut budgets, you know, to the to the uh, departments. So we have put things in place to get moving ahead to get public records available to everybody on a timely fashion and um, moving forward. But I believe that we are transparent and we do post on our new web page. We've also reached into social media to get the information out as well. But. Uh, more information that we can get out, the happier the people will be, and that is my goal is to make sure that everybody gets the information that they want. Thank you. <laughs>